Hello and welcome to this lesson on the key concepts of Global Order Promising or GOP. In this lesson, we list some of the key goals of Global Order Promising. We'll describe the architecture of Global Order Promising and uh, see how it fits in the supply chain framework. We'll talk through some of the key capabilities of Global Order Promising. We'll see how to run and manage the order promising process. And we'll explain some of the key concepts of global order promising, such as ATP rules and sourcing rules. And finally, we'll explain the back-to-back -back promising capability offered by global order promising. So let's begin with a quick introduction to global order promising. Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud offers a comprehensive order to cash solution, which encompasses order capture, configuration, pricing, promising, execution, and analytics. Global Order Promising or GOP is a key component of the order to cash solution. It improves the efficiency of the enterprise by promising goods optimally. It matches demands from incoming orders with available supply, locates the shipping warehouse and calculates promised delivery dates based on different lead times, such as procurement lead time, production lead time, transit and processing lead times, and so on. It ensures that it applies the appropriate calendars while it carries out these uh, uh, calculations. Actions can be taken in uh, GOP to inquire for available supply or simulate new orders or change existing order attributes and so on, and then view the potential supply sources and expected dates. Once any change to existing orders are reviewed and finalized, they can be scheduled and progressed in the order management system. GOP promises orders received from the order management system or OM. GOP ensures that the orders are promised optimally by determining the most suitable fulfillment dates and supply sources and taking into consideration different factors like splits, substitutions, calendars, transit times, and so on. For this purpose, it uses data from the Oracle Fusion or external um, execution systems such as items, calendars, supply chain network data, currencies, units of measure, uh, supplies, as well as uh, demand data. These data are collected into the planning data repository using either collections or the file-based data import framework that is offered by uh, Oracle Cloud. GOP uses a rules-based framework for promising. It leverages rules to determine potential fulfillment sources as well as the manner in which to promise these orders. GOP could assume infinite availability of supply or apply a predefined lead time or actively track available supplies if needed. As in the event that supplies are to be tracked, then GOP offers the flexibility to select from a wide range of supply types, uh, which are typically used by the enterprise while uh, meeting demands such as on hand or purchase orders, work orders, transfer orders, and so on. GOP can also promise orders by creating new supplies in the event that existing supplies are insufficient to uh, meet the uh, demand. These new supplies could be of type uh, make, buy, or transfer based on the defined rules. Now let's look at some of the framework and architectural elements of GOP. Through data collection data from the various Oracle execution cloud modules are collected into the planning data repository for use by GOP. Data could include static data such as items, item structures, work definitions, calendars, supplier data, units of measure, currency, and so on. Dynamic data uh, such as transfer orders, work orders, on hand, purchase orders, and so on are also collected. The planning data repository also maintains uh, GOP setup data, which are defined in the uh, GOP work area, such as ATP rules, sourcing rules, supply allocation rules, as well as their assignments. GOP's database-centric engine requires that any data updates made in the um, other cloud modules be collected into the planning data repository before they can be reflected in the GOP engine. Users can interact with the GOP engine through a UI that enables carrying out 
simulations of viewing availability options and offers um, uh, out of the box features like reports and analytics and mass edit capabilities that uh, improve the order promising efficiency. Now let's look at some of the key capabilities of uh, GOP. GOP has the ability to search uh, the supply network of the enterprise very rapidly for uh, the best supply sources which uh, meet the orders optimally. Uh, these supplies could either be of type on hand or they could be uh, scheduled receipts such as work orders, transfer orders or purchase orders. All such supplies are collectively termed as available to promise or ATP supplies. The order promising solution has the ability to uh, promise dropship orders. It takes into consideration uh, supplier capacity as well as uh, different lead times, such as transit lead times or supplier lead times uh, appropriately uh, as well. Uh, the order promising solution can uh, promise for manufactured items uh, which uh, consume component and resource availability. It uses the capable to promise feature while uh, promising for such items. It has the ability to split fulfillment lines across different uh, sources of supply. It can also uh, split the uh, fulfillment line across uh, the primary item and uh, the substitute item as well as across dates where it partially fulfills um, the order on the requested date uh, with the available supply and then uh, fulfills the, uh, the remaining uh, quantity uh, when it becomes available at a future date. The order promising solution has the ability to promise for back-to-back -back items by either using existing supply or creating new supply of type make, buy, or transfer. It uh, publishes these supply recommendations to uh, supply chain orchestration and uh, supply chain orchestration will then progress it in the execution system to create the supply documents. It has the capability of promising um, configure to order or CTO items, which could be either of type uh, assemble to order or ATO or pick to order or PTO or any hybrid combination of uh, these items. Uh, it can uh, respect uh, the uh, uh, configurations which come uh, matched from uh, a CTO based on some uh, uh, earlier orders which uh, were made for the same configuration and it can promise uh, based on uh, matched configurations in a way which is consistent with uh, uh, standard items as well. Uh, the order promising solution has the ability to uh, promise um, internal material transfers, which are uh, transfer of supply within the enterprise between uh, uh, two organizations. It does so by considering the destination organization um, as a customer. Uh, it supports end item substitution uh, to promise for orders uh, um, uh, especially in the case of high priority items where uh, uh, the order needs to be promised with minimum delay. Uh, it has the capability to allocate uh, ATP supply uh, based on demand class and it respects these demand class allocations while uh, uh, promising for uh, new orders. Um, the order promising solution responds to inquiries for available uh, supply by providing up to six alternate availability options. The users can then uh, select from these alternate availability options uh, the best possible option and schedule um, that option and take it forward in the order management system. The order promising solution has the ability to uh, schedule the orders and determine the scheduled uh, ship dates and arrival dates and take into consideration the uh, shipping methods uh, or carrier mode service level combinations while doing so. Uh, the order promising solution has the capability of selecting the most optimal shipping method uh, 
uh, from the managed transit times task between the source and destination and applying the transit time uh, uh, for that particular ship method to offset it from the uh, scheduled ship date to determine the scheduled arrival date. It also takes into consideration the um, uh, different calendars as applicable Violet uh, carries out this calculation. The order promising solution has a, a, a rich user interface which provides an array of analytics and reports which allows uh, users to uh, focus on the problem areas and then uh, determine the overall uh, health of the order promising solution. The order promising solution uh, respects different calendars, uh, including shipping calendars, receiving calendars, uh, carrier calendars, supplier calendars, production calendars, and so on. It also um, respects different types of uh, item attribute uh, uh, lead times, depending on the uh, type of item that is being promised. For example, for uh, purchased, uh, items it takes into consideration pre-processing lead time, processing lead time, and post-processing lead time. Uh, whereas for manufactured items, it takes into consideration fixed and variable lead times. Uh, finally, the uh, order promising solution uh, also uh, considers order attributes such as uh, enablement of splits and substitutions, as well as uh, uh, the uh, earliest and uh, latest acceptable dates, which can be set in the um, order line which determine the time window within which the order promising solution can uh, potentially promise uh, the order for the item. Now we we'll look at uh, the order promising process in a, a little bit more detail. Uh, now collections of um, transaction data and static data is uh, one of the prerequisites for uh, carrying out promising activities. Once the latest uh, static data and transaction data are collected over, uh, any new order which is placed in the order management system will then be uh, submitted to uh, global order promising and order promising can then uh, use the latest collected data to, um, uh, to promise for those uh, items. It will leverage the um, the rules um, in the form of the global sourcing rule to begin with to identify the best source of supply. It will then look at the ATP rule to determine how best to meet that order, uh, whether it needs to consider infinite availability or whether it needs to take a lead time or whether it needs to actively track the supply to meet that order. Uh, once it determines a uh, an appropriate supply for that uh, item, it uh, can then schedule the item and uh, uh, return the result to the order management system. In the event it is not able to find a suitable supply, it can then apply local sourcing rules to determine how to create new supply, either of type make, buy, or transfer based on the sourcing rule uh, to um, uh, promise that order. Um, so once the order um, is uh, ready for uh, promising with the uh, supply identified either through um, the ATP rule or through the local uh, sourcing rule, it is then uh, scheduled uh, with the scheduled ship and arrival dates and the results are returned to the order management system. Uh, the order management system will then uh, progress it uh, to shipping. Uh, now, for uh, those orders which are scheduled but not shipped, um, they can be collected back into the uh, planning data repository. And in um, um, a, a fraction of these orders uh, could then be revisited and could be improved upon in terms of uh, providing a better uh, promise date um, based on either um, previously um, unseen. Uh, supply or new supply coming into the system um, which has been collected over uh, uh, or uh, by assigning a higher priority uh, to certain 
orders over certain other orders so that the supply can be uh, adjusted between those orders. The uh, order promising solution provides the uh, user interface which allows for uh, quick simulations uh, for carrying out um, and these kind of uh, adjustments and uh, uh, reprioritizations. It will uh, provide up to six alternate availability options from which the user can then uh, select the most appropriate option and then uh, progress the order and schedule the order and uh, uh, return the results back to the uh, order management uh, uh, system for uh, uh, further progress into the uh, other execution modules such as shipping and so on. Uh, we'll look at the key steps in the process um, of um, uh, order promising. The first step, um, as mentioned earlier, is the uh, collections of the uh, transaction data and static data. Uh, usually this is carried out using the collect planning data process in the uh, Fusion Cloud. Now, once this data has been collected, it needs to be reflected in the um, order promising engine. In specific cases such as um, the back-to-back -back case or um, in the when there are allocations and so on, uh, this is uh, done by um, running the uh, schedule process to refresh and start the order promising server. Um, now, once uh, this process is run, the uh, latest supply picture is available to the uh, global order promising uh, memory model. Now, in uh, certain special cases where there are fast moving items which uh, uh, keep getting frequently updated in terms of their supply picture. It may not be practical to um, restart the uh, global order promising server um, very frequently. So in uh, such cases, in such special cases, um, we can use the uh, schedule process called real, uh, start real time supply updates to update the uh, uh, GOP memory uh, with the latest supply picture without having to uh, restart the order promising server for uh, just the um, fast moving items which uh, uh, keep getting frequent supply updates. Now we'll look at uh, the key uh, concepts related to ATP rules and sourcing rules. Um, GOP uses the global sourcing rule to determine the best uh, source of supply. It um, uh, uses um, local sourcing rules to determine the um, uh, creation of new supplies. It uses the ATP rule to define how to uh, promise a particular order, um, whether it needs to consider supply to be infinitely available or whether it needs to apply specific lead time or whether it needs to actively track supplies. So let's first look at uh, uh, the different types of sourcing rules. Global sourcing rules are usually defined to uh, determine the, uh, uh, the supply source from which the uh, product gets shipped to the customer. Now, global sourcing rules are uh, by definition not associated with any organization. Uh, they can be of type uh, transfer from or buy. Um, if they are set to buy, then that implies a dropship scenario. Now let's look at local sourcing rules. Local sourcing rules are uh, used to create new supply in the event that existing uh, supply is not uh, sufficient to meet the order. Uh, by definition, local sourcing rules are assigned um, at a level which includes organization. And local uh, sourcing rules could be of type uh, make, buy, or transfer. Uh, by design, uh, GOP only looks at one global sourcing rule and one local sourcing rule while uh, promising an order. 
uh, global sourcing rules come into play only when there is no ship from organization that is provided on the order line and GOP needs to determine the uh, optimal ship from warehouse to meet that order. Uh, while uh, global sourcing rules can be defined um, uh, at multiple levels and assigned uh, at different levels in the hierarchy, uh, global order promising will select the most granular uh, uh, sourcing rule in the hierarchy and uh, apply the sources that are defined in that uh, sourcing rule to determine the best uh, uh, supply sources for meeting an order. Now let's look at the ATP rules. Uh, in the ATP rule page, um, there are three promising modes that are available. Uh, these are the uh, supply chain um, availability uh, search or the lead time based or uh, infinite availability um, based ATP rules. Um, now let's look at the um, uh, three types of ATP rules in more detail. The infinite availability rule is generally used for unconstrained items which are, are typically assumed to have infinite supplies. While um, uh, considering such items, GOP supports the um, uh, uh, calculation of uh, the promised date by taking into consideration calendar-related uh, constraints. The next um, promising mode is the lead time based promising mode. These are typically used for items which have a, a reliable lead time and um, they are always expected to be available after a specific lead time. And for such items, uh, GOP will respect the calendars as well as the uh, lead time constraints which are defined in the ATP rule. The third type of uh, mode is the supply chain availability search mode. And these are used um, for items which are fast moving in nature. And uh, these are essentially key items that need to be um, exactly tracked for uh, supplies. And um, uh, this is the most sophisticated form of uh, promising that uh, GOP offers where uh, GOP takes into consideration various aspects like uh, calendars, uh, supply demand matching, um, um, lead times, and it makes sure that the result is optimal uh, while promising for such items. Now let's look at some of the uh, uh, parameters that you can provide for supply chain availability search based ATP rule items. Uh, in the event that um, the item is a manufactured item and uh, you need to search for uh, components and resources. Uh, the uh, search components and resources um, uh, checkbox needs to be enabled. This is usually um, uh, it, for the item structure of a manufactured item. Um, and uh, uh, this ensures that GOP looks at both components as well as uh, resources and it essentially traverses the uh, item structure of the manufactured item to um, um, ensure that um, dependent demands are taken care of. Uh, the second parameter relates to, to the different um, supply types that are supported by GOP. Um, there are um, a number of supply types um, such as purchase orders, work orders, transfer orders, in transit, uh, plant supplies, and so on, which are uh, supported by uh, GOP. And uh, uh, you can choose from uh, one or more of these to uh, determine which supply types GOP needs to consider while uh, um, promising an item at an organization. Uh, the next parameter relates to the infinite uh, infinite supply time fence, which um, is a time window beyond which GOP no longer needs to track uh, supply actively. This represents the uh, time window beyond which there is no visibility in uh, the supply chain to determine the uh, supply source accurately and uh, 
it can be assumed uh, safely that um, the order can be met uh, through some as yet undetermined supply. Uh, the uh, next parameter uh, parameters are related to uh, the uh, past due supply days and past due demand days, which are the um, number of days of backdated supplies that uh, GOP needs to consider while uh, uh, promising for the item. Um, we'll now look at the ATP uh, rule assignments. There are um, different levels at which uh, ATP rules can be assigned. GOP will pick, uh, pick the most granular um, uh, ATP rule assignment and promise based on uh, the settings or parameters that have been defined in the ATP rule with the most granular uh, ATP uh, assignment. Uh, at the least granular level, um, there is organization followed by category item and at the most uh, granular level, it is item organization. Now, uh, by design, um, al almost all the um, items need to be assigned an ATP rule for them to be considered in GOP. Uh, the only exception being for dropship cases where uh, uh, ATP rules are not uh, uh, mandatory. Uh, as mentioned earlier, GOP uses the most granular rule and uh, promises items based on the parameters defined in the most granular rule. Now let's look at the um, way GOP promises orders with the back-to-back uh, -back flow. In the back-to-back -back flow, um, the uh, promising follows a path which is very similar to the standard flow. UOP makes use of the global sourcing rule to define the uh, to identify the uh, potential sources of supply. It uh, looks at the ATP rule to determine the supply types um, and uh, makes use of the parameters that have been defined in the ATP rules to uh, track supplies and it will um, uh, create new supplies of type make by or transfer by referring to the local sourcing rules. Uh, the main difference in the back-to-back -back, um, flow is that uh, GOP publishes the um, supply recommendations to uh, supply chain orchestration and supply chain orchestration will then progress that into the uh, execution system to create uh, uh, the corresponding supply orders and reserve them. GOP uh, will then uh, respect such reservations in the event that it encounters uh, them uh, when these orders are collected back into the planning data repository um, and uh, GOP either needs to reschedule some of the orders or GOP needs to uh, schedule uh, new orders for the same item. Um, now, in terms of sourcing rule setups, they are very similar to um, how uh, setups are made for standard uh, uh, item promising. The global sourcing rules can be uh, uh, defined for the item to uh, determine the ship from location and GOP will uh, use the most granular global sourcing rule. And um, the same goes for local sourcing rule as well. GOP will use the most uh, granular local sourcing rule and uh, uh, it will uh, refer to that while creating new uh, supply of type make by or transfer. This table shows the different types of um, supply recommendations that uh, Global Order Promising issues and publishes to uh, supply chain orchestration. Now, in the event a GOP is able to identify existing supply either in the form of uh, on hand or scheduled receipts, such as per, uh, purchase orders, work orders, transfer orders, and so on, it will issue uh, an ATP recommendation. And this ATP recommendation is uh, published to supply chain orchestration. Uh, it is to be noted here that. Uh, uh, in the event GOP issues an ATP recommendation based on uh, scheduled receipts such as purchase orders, transfer orders, and work orders, um, these cannot be 
progressed in the execution system. Um, so uh, these uh, orders will need to be put on hold and uh, can only progress once on hand supply is available in inventory against which a reservation can be carried out. Apart from the ATP recommendation, GOP can also show uh, uh, make buy or transfer recommendations uh, based on the uh, uh, local sourcing rules which are used to create new supplies. Um, now the uh, supply recommendations that are uh, published to uh, supply chain orchestration are essentially the, uh, the, the manner in which GOP pegs the uh, uh, supply to the demand. And uh, this pegging information is what is then published into uh, supply chain orchestration and uh, supply chain orchestration picks up this pegging information and um, um, uh, then progresses it with the, uh, uh, the different uh, execution modules to uh, create the necessary supply documents such as uh, make orders or transfer orders or purchase orders. Uh, the um, pegging information can be viewed from the uh, check availability page in GOP. Uh, for this, you can navigate to the actions menu and uh, select view, view availability details. Uh, the view availability details will show you the um, actual pegging information on uh, and uh, provide an idea on how GOP had uh, uh, promise these orders. Uh, some of the key considerations that uh, go with the back-to-back -back flow are that the supply recommendations, which are uh, the pegging details that are provided by GOP are only made for the, uh, the first echelon of the uh, supply chain, which uh, uh, encompasses the uh, the shipping warehouse from where the product gets shipped to the uh, customer. Uh, all the uh, uh, higher level or upstream pegging related uh, details are not uh, visible to supply chain orchestration. The supply uh, recommendations are only generated for the uh, end item or the requested item and not any of the component level items and uh, uh, supply chain orchestration cannot create the um, corresponding supply documents for uh, those items. Um, the third uh, point to note is that the ATP recommendations based on scheduled receipts such as work orders, transfer orders, purchase orders and so on uh, cannot be progressed immediately in the execution system. Uh, such orders will need to be put on hold and uh, uh, only once the um, on hand supply becomes available in inventory can uh, these orders be progressed. Uh, so that brings us to the end of this uh, lesson. So let's summarize what we've uh, uh, gone over. So we've listed the key goals of global order promising. We've described the architecture of global order promising and explained uh, how the uh, global order promising solution fits in the supply chain framework. We've uh, talk through the key capabilities of global order promising and uh, seeing how to run and manage the order promising process. We've also explained uh, the key concepts related to ATP rules and sourcing rules, and uh, we've walked through the back-to-back -back promising capability of uh, global order promising. Uh, so with that, we come to the end of this lesson. Thank you for listening.